All right, here we go, guys. It's uh, Saturday, October 23, I think. 23, Faisal, Christina, yeah. again. They're my forever October customers. Uncle Jerry in the front. He's doing his uh, social feed. He's doing a description of everything all around. Uh, he's blatantly ripping me off, of course. Blackfish again today. Tis the season. It'd be more funny if he got more views than him. <laughs> you shut up. Uncle Jerry's not getting more views than me. Um, all right, let's see what happens. We'll check in in a little bit. You make sure not to edit that out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mamie. Uh. <laughs> all right, here we go, guys. And what an exciting trip this was. October 23, 2021, Eastern Long Island Sound with my customers, Faisal, Christina, and Uncle Jerry. And what we're going to talk about today, besides the fantastic fishing, almost all of it on uh, Light Tackle Jigs, you'll you'll hear later about Faisal using a conventional rig, and I'll, I'll explain my opinion why that worked better for him. Um, but we're going to talk about boat placement, and specifically what I believe, and this is my opinion only, but I believe the biggest differentiator between guys who catch on a boat and guys who don't catch on a boat, it's boat placement. So many boaters who are togging will pull up onto their piece and be almost you know not paying attention to the fact that there are already other boats there and they've established a bite under them and if you've watched skinner's underwater video you see how a dead zone becomes filled with blackfish when you start dropping crabs there and i'm fully convinced that if you are first on a spot and we left bright and early we were the only boat here for a long time on this particular spot again four fish seven pounds or better and we had boats come around us not catching. We established that bite underneath us. And in my opinion, again, it's better to just move away, find your own piece away from other boats, establish your own bite, get the blackfish in that area to come under your boat, then anchor close to a boat that has already established the bite. And I think this video will do a great job of showing that and showing it in actual use that, hey, this really makes a lot of sense and this works. Hope you enjoy this video. As always, if you like these videos, hit that like button if you're not already a subscriber and you like content like this, please consider subscribing. And this is literally the first drop of the day. We just got to this spot. Uh, again, we're the only boat here. And you'll see it did not take long for me to hook up to a nice keeper. Maybe. You guys are keeping fish? Looks like a keeper to me. There we go. <laughs> 19 inches. <laughs> Faisal, 19, man. Uh, probably like the last one. Maybe a little smaller now. That little, maybe 15 this one. The other one was 15 and a half. All right, we're building the bike, guys. That's what counts. And on a day with over 20 keepers, I intentionally kept that clip in because uh, the other thing, when you're the only boat there, you've, you're building the bite. So many guys get frustrated, pick up their anchor and leave. And we're not using an anchor, but you get my point. And I wanted to keep that clip in to show that if you have the fish under you, it's worth staying.
Yeah. A keeper. <laughs> he ran with it. Yeah, it's a good one. Nah. 30 pound test, baby. As long as I get the leader, I'm good. Sorry, guys. Actually, Faisal <laughs> may be the net on this one. Feels big. I got you. Sorry. Yeah, he's still running. I have the drag pretty tight. Definitely a good one. I don't have you. Thank you, Faisal. It's a hog, huh? Holy cow. Seven? Probably eight. Who would have won the tournament for sure? <laughs> Holy cow, look how fat he is. What do you think? I'm gonna say seven. There's the eight, there's the ten. Seven and a half. In charge of the, ooh. You saw how it was swimming away, Faisal? I could feel it with this. I can't feel it with the other rod. I think I just got my New York bite limit. Dropped it? No, now he lightened up. Got weight. No? Keeper. There we go. Uncle Jerry! <laughs> and the key words on that keeper were, I can feel it on this rod. And yeah, going back to Faisal, he's using a beautiful custom rod, $300 rod. He actually got me one too last year for Christmas. Great customer, great guy. But no sensitivity on that rod. It's a stiff rod. The, the rod I'm using, which is a custom VRC rod, they will, they're going to be coming out, a, a line of rods specific to togging, way more sensitive. So Christina made me put my camera on. I was taking care of the fish. We got six fish, six uh, blackfish in the boat. She thinks she has a keeper, but I can, I'm guessing she doesn't. Is this number seven, Christina? Aka Mimi is the only one what? without a keeper. Come on, Christina, you, just you can do it. My full name on YouTube. Yes. For those of you that don't know, I married these two <laughs> in July, and I know her real first name, which is not Christina. You'll be doing the divorce in spring. Too. Yeah, <laughs> I handle divorces too. Her real first name is Mamie, which is like a name from the 1930s. Are you even reeling? I'm reeling. Oh. He's coming. Oh, that's what she said. <laughs> you don't hear that much, do you? No. <laughs> Sadly, no. It's more like stay away. <laughs> In a non-sexual way, unlike your comment. Oh, you, it's a good one, huh? No, I feel lying now, too. Well, you got YouTube. Oh, boy. Under, under. This is no bueno. How's your drag? You've been fighting this fish. Oh, it's a big fish. All right, let her get her. No, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna swing it in with the. Cause if I get the net with your fish on too, just, just reel, just reel, just get them in. Get your line closer. This is a nice fish, Christina. Oh, oh yeah. Slack, 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 slack. All right, it's a beautiful fish. Nice fish, nice job. Yeah. I don't want to do it with the thing because I don't want to screw up your line. Okay. Hey, he is. Wait, wait, wait. And he didn't even take it. He lurked around it. Yeah. Okay. How's yours? All right. It's a nice fish, man. Told you. Mamie coming through. Oh, you got two. <laughs> no, one might pass though. Uh, yeah, I'll measure. Gonna be close. I'll let you take care of the sea bass. I'll measure the 
You gonna measure hers too? No. <laughs> no, I gotta deal with him though. But let's take care of your baby first. Yes, yeah, son, you're good. Seven, almost 17. It just looks small compared to Christina's. Four, two. This is one of the ones we released over the years. Now, Christina, seven. Six, six and a half to seven. I still think mine might be bigger. We'll, we'll pull mine out. That didn't sound right. Uncle Jerry, you be the judge. That's Christina's. I'm gonna pull mine out. Christina, I hate saying this, but I think I still have it. This one is more fat. This one's much longer though. Yeah. Much longer. Christina, sorry. Yeah, that's a little fatter, but this is much yeah. longer. And you'll hear a quick, quick conversation between Uncle and Jerry and I right here. Again, describing the theme of the video, the fact that we were there on the ground first, and more and more boats started showing up, and to me it would not make one single difference for them because we'd established the bite under us already. If you want porgies, the lighthouse has more. That lighthouse over there. Yeah, yeah, but, but notice, we're the only boat here. Now there's a boat coming. We've already built the bite under us. Any boat can come now all they want. They're not catching shit because we got all the fish here. Yeah. The blackfish, they they hear the commotion, they see the bait under, they'll all swarm here. Now if somebody anchors right there, we've seen it. I have it on video. Yeah. They won't catch a fish and they won't understand why we're catching. You got to get there first. Yeah. Mamie says she has something good on. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, there you go. I'll measure him. We're filling our crabs to the front. See what Mamie has. Oh yeah, let me help you this time so you don't. Nice job, nice job, Mames. No. Don't call me me. There's only one person that used to call me that. Who? Your dad? No, his friend. Oh. Mamers, Mames. Good job. High five. All right, we'll measure both those guys. Yours definitely passes, and I think Faisal's might too. Should pass? Okay. I mean, I see you're struggling. <laughs> then again, oh, that definitely passes. There you go. Nice, nice fish, man. No, he's not small. And what Faisal doesn't know is I'm trying to keep extra de hookers from customers on the boat, so I've intentionally. Ah, oh, he figured it out. Good job, Faisal. I'll take care of him. Leave him there. Get down there. One more for a limit, guys. Just about two hours of fishing, and I might have him here. Whatever you guys want to do. If you want to make it a half day trip, save a couple bucks, we could do that too. We could, we could, we could fish in the bay. I know, we could go fish in the bay and keep an extra fish. This is our limit now. Uh, we can do catch and release. We're not going for porgies. You put the crab legs on the hook. I don't care. We are not going for porgies. What do we got time-wise? 9.30, so just under two hours. Not bad, right? Quick limit. All right, Faisal needs the net. I was cleaning the boat a little, because we've limited. It's now at about two hours of fishing. Good job, buddy. Just gotta go back. 
even if it's an 18 pounder. Oh, imagine you catch a world record and we have to throw it back. <laughs> oh, this is a beauty, man. Holy cow. Nice job. Oh, oh. Oh, that, that's, that could be double, man. Maybe nine. All right. Yeah. That's a good one, though. That's an awesome one. You got to go back, though, but it's an awesome one. No, no, I would throw it back anyway. Yeah. Fuck. Faisal, when I free it, just pull him out. Pull him out. I'll give him a measure. Nice job. And I had the camera off. I was cleaning the front of the boat. No, I have the camera on. I caught, I caught the net. There's the eight. The eight is, oh. you see the line? Yeah. There's the 10. Huh, I, I would say a little over eight. Okay. Let's get him, let's get him released. Yeah, eight pounder going back in the water. And he's gone. Good job, Faisal. And if you take a quick look here on the upper right hand part of your screen, you'll see that blue boat. That's the Blue Jay. That's Rick and Doc on that boat with our friend Cliff. And we know them very well, obviously, from the, these videos and Skinner's videos. Excellent fishermen. They had one keeper here. And again, this goes back to the fact that they were a little too close to us. They couldn't get the same bite we did because we'd established the bite under us. Um, they wound up having a great day. They limited but away from us, and in fact, in a spot they were at by themselves. And shortly after they left, uh, my good friend, Captain Mike Brady of a Greenport Charter Boat, Captain's Table, a guy I refer a lot of overflow customers to, he pulled up next to us, wanted to see how we were doing. They were fishing on the Connecticut side. They did very well. And then when the tide started ripping, they came over by us. And he's a very much a mentor to me. He he did this the way I'm doing it. He started part-time. He had a full-time corporate job. And he eventually retired from that and did this full-time. Many of you know that's my end goal. Um, so we're, we're sitting here chatting. And as we're chatting, Faisal hooks up. And this will be the last fish we show, even though we got more keepers after this. Faisal hooks up to the fourth seven-pounder of the day. And uh, yeah, just a great trip. Uh, and again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what you think of that theory about uh, establishing the bite and being the only boat there. As always, if you do like these videos, hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber and you like content like this, please consider subscribing. Are you out tomorrow? Uh, I'm gonna try. I, I got a. I got guys who want to. I got four trips booked next week. I'm not gonna get any of them. Cause tomorrow looks good. All right, good luck. Oh, oh, we got a good fish on. I got to get the net. No net, he's saying. Good fish, but no net. Let's see what it is. Oh, it is a good one. Well, too late now. I'm gonna horse him in. Is this leader? Yeah. Oh my god. I should have got the net for this. The nice one. How was it that? No crap I used the one that you had Oh What do we think? Yeah, there you go. Wanna take a picture? No, sorry, you take it. Uncle Jerry, you want to hold this fish? And we woke Uncle Jerry there from his uh, porgy slumber. You know, he was dreaming about porgies. Uh, we'll show some pics here to end the video. Uh, again, four fish at, and I know Christina's was borderline seven, but it's my video. I'm going to say four fish at seven or better. Uh, again, hope you enjoyed the video.